Welcome back to How This Mom Does It, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how our school day goes. If you're interested in seeing how we do school, stay tuned. So I thought it would be fun to kind of take you along on our day as we do our schoolwork and, and see more of what our day looks like. Um, we've been recovering for a cold, so it's uh, we're getting going a little bit late today. It's almost 10. It's like 9.40. Um, we have to do a lot of nebulizer treatments and breathing treatments and things right now. So um, the joys of an asthma family. But uh, we've got breakfast done and all the meds are done and um, we're getting ready to get started. So basically I set my all my daughter's workout on a clipboard for her the night before. I pull it out from the binder and I've done a video on how I organize our work so it's all ready to go in a, in a, in a binder. And um, I have a video on that and I'll link it above if you're interested in seeing that. Um, but this is the work that I set out for her. And I just put it on a clipboard so she can move from place to place and we can um, move around if we need to. It makes it easy and um, I can just tell her grab your clipboard in the morning and she knows what to do. This is all of her independent work. Um, we start off with her her daily math for the day and math minutes, which is like a math review, and then her normal math, a mammoth worksheets, and then um, I have her grammar minutes and some phonics. Um, and um, some my math, because we're doing my math too for extra practice and then some Christmas math because we're adding in some fun Christmas worksheets right now for fun and um, then some of her writing prompts and we're a little bit behind so I have more than one on here so she has um, all about Christmas and some work with commas um, and my Christmas tree and let's see how to decorate a Christmas tree. So this is her independent work and we try and get through at least the daily stuff and then some of the extras as we have time. And then once we get finished with that, then we'll move on with other work. But that's the this is the work that she can do pretty much by herself. And we sit up outside. I thought it would be just kind of fun to show you really what a typical day looks like um, on a home day when we don't have lots of activities um, to show you how I fit school around what we normally do. Um, right now my daughter's inside working on her clipboard work. My son is doing a learning activity. I just got my shower and now I'm outside um, watering our plants. We have a garden that we're trying to expand um, and we do do container gardening if you notice a little bit different but um, we are in the process of changing around our garden and we got sick in the month of December and we're just starting to get better so we haven't finished um, getting our watering system hooked up and changing changing things over how we um, want um, our new garden to be so for the time being I'm hand watering which isn't too fun but it's got to get done so I'm outside um, hand watering the plants to make sure everything's good and um, harvesting a couple things that we still have left to do um, some of our summer plants are still producing because we have weird weather here so I'm gonna grab a couple things and um, head inside and start dinner okay I am back inside now and I'm about to start dinner and this is not a recipe video I'm just throwing stuff in a crock pot that I have I'm kind of doing like a little pantry challenge trying to use up stuff in our stockpile in our pantry and clean things out um, I actually haven't gone real grocery shopping like stock up shopping since before Thanksgiving and um, I've just been sick and haven't done a big grocery store trip and my um, husband and my dad have picked up some things for us um, just to kind of fill in things that we needed but um, in terms of a big shopping trip I haven't gotten out to do that so we are using up what we have, and I had half a bag of these chicken breast tenderloins, um, some spaghetti sauce and mushrooms, tomatoes, the onion and bell pepper um, mix, frozen, and um, some minced garlic. So I'm going to throw that in there and make some kind of quick chicken cacciatore out of that and see how that comes out. This is an experiment. So I'm going to throw that in there, and I'll show you what it looks like okay, when so I get I've it in the all pot. of it in the crock pot. And um, now that I've got it in here, though, I think I'm going to add... 
some Italian seasoning to it too because I don't think that the spaghetti sauce will have enough seasoning in it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add that and get this turned on low and let this cook. And I'm going to set it at 8 hours, but it's not going to take 8 hours. Probably let it slow cook for maybe 5 or 6 hours. Um, but I want to make sure it cooks long enough because I like the chicken to just kind of fall apart. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and move on with my day. What are you working on? Hot dots. Hot dots? Do you like hot dots? Yeah. There you go. What are you doing? Writing. Writing what? Words. Writing your words? Is your phonics? Mm -hmm. Okay, while they were finishing up their work, I got some lunch ready. And um, my son requested leftover pizza, so he's having a piece of leftover pizza with some green beans and applesauce and some cranberries and my daughter wanted grilled cheese so I made her grilled cheese with tomato uh, soup and some green beans so we're gonna go ahead and so I finished my midday chores and I am back at the computer I did a load of laundry uh, did dishes swept the floors cleaned the bathroom and a couple other things around the house so I am back looking at our clipboard work and I have went ahead and corrected it um, so I checked everything off, made sure everything was correct, and I'm ready to log it into my spreadsheet. So um, I'll show you real quick just kind of how I do it. So for like our daily math sheet, and we're on day 88, I will go through and highlight off that we did it. And so I know I completed it, and then we did, actually, nope, that was our calendar. So we did our calendar, and then we did our daily math, so I marked that off. And then we did <clears throat> Math Mammoth, page 102. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. And we did 173 of my math, but that was some work that carried over from last week. So I'm going to get that highlighted off. So sometimes when we don't finish things, so this is week 17, um, and then this is week 18. So sometimes we'll have some things that we don't finish, and I'll just make sure we go back and finish them off. Um, like we're still trying to finish the Family Under the Bridge unit and Junie B. Jones. We have a couple things left to finish up in those. And we have a few chapters in um, Magic Tree House's Christmas and Camelot to read, and a few um, workbook pages in... Um, one of our um, reading workbooks. So um, I do have a couple things to finish up, but um, we just kind of go back and mark them off as we get them done if we um, skip something. So I've got that done. And then we've got our grammar minutes done for the day. So we did grammar minute 88. And then we did our phonics. Plaid Phonics 107 and 108. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that off. And then we did our Christmas math for the day. So we did, actually we did several pages of Christmas math, Christmas math, because we were behind. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those sheets off as well, because we did several of them and got us caught up here. So we are caught up in that and ready to get the rest of it done. So we're going to move on with our day and getting some work caught up. Um, again, we've been sick, so we've got some making up to do, but we're not too far behind. So it's things that we can um, get back on track with. So that is um, basically what I do. I'll just go through, check the work, and then mark it off the spreadsheet so I know that we finished it. And I can get a good idea of what we still have left to do. So we're going to continue on with our day and get some more work done. Here. Can you tell me the words? Clam. Clam. Jam. Jam. You remember that one? Ram. Ram. Ham. Ham. Lamb. Lamb. Good job. Fist bump. Fist bump. Good job. All right. What about that one? Boat. That's say it's pointing to something. Sail. Sail. Good. Mail. Mail. Bucket. 
Well, pale. Pale. What's that? Snail. Snail. And what's in the center? Whale. Whale. Good job. Let's, do we do the other side? Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, tell me what those are. Log. Log. Frog. Frog. People. Well, it is a person, but what is a person doing? Running. Well, it's running, but it looks like running, but we want to find a word that rhymes with dog, log, frog. How about, what do you think? What's another word for running that ends in og? J. Og. Jog. Jog. Okay, and what's this last one? Pig. Pig, but we could also call it a hog. Hog. Mm hmm, because these are all rhyming words. Okay. So, what are all these puzzles? These are all rhyming word, words. Rhyming words. Words that rhyme. Good Key. job. Key. Three. Three. What is that? T. You're right, T. Tree. Tree. And you did. What's in the center? Did you say the center? I don't remember you saying that. B. B. Good job. I'm going to do this last one. Okay. You want to do that one? Bat. Bat. Rat. Rat. Hat. Hat. Sign. Sign, but they're going to call it a... Mm, read it. Mm. Look at the word. Mat. Mat. Good. Mat. Cat. And cat. Good job. Do you know your rhyming words? E. Yeah. yeah, fist bump. All right. Good job. has three coins. <laughs> the amount of coins is 40 cents. What coins does she have? Okay, so you need three coins. What's your first coin? Okay, what is that? That is a quarter. It is 25 cents. So you have 25 cents, and you need to get to 40. So pick two other coins, and we'll try them out. It's not a good one. This is a nickel. Okay. It is worth five cents. Okay, so 25 plus five is what? So count by fives. 25? 30. 30. So, we're, but we're trying to get to what? We're trying to get to... 40! 40. Did you figure it out? Yes! What do you need? That's not a good one. We need a dime. Put it down there so I can see it. A dime is 10 cents. A dime is 10 cents. So count up your money. 25, 30, and when we add a dime, it's 40. It's 40. Okay, so now you got to write down what, what, um, so what coins does she need? You can just write, you don't have to write the word. You can just write the money amount. And that's fine. Okay. 25 uh -huh. cents. Cents, uh-huh. And then you did a dime. Five cents. Mm -hmm. And ten cents. And then just draw your line and add it up. Let me see. So you got one. How about this one? How many is on that one? Three. Three? Can you find the one with three? I found it. Did you find it? Mm hmm how about this one? Can you find that one? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, this one. One, one two, three, four, five. Five. So can you find the um, pin with the five? I have it right now. Oh, you found it already? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, how about that one? Well, actually, let's do that one. But, the, but there's, a, there's all of those. Well, how, how many is in that and one? Do you want to do the purple? Yeah. Okay, count how many is in the purple. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, nine. you counted too far. One. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So you need to find the pin with a seven on it. Did you find it? Let me see. I have it all way. You got it? Okay, here. So put it on which color? Good. And then it says make a circle around the bear. So where's the bear? And then make a circle. See, it gives you an arrow. Go around it. All the way around. And then put down your crayon. Perfect. 
Now, it <coughs> says, color the large letter D. Trace the lines from the large letter D to the small one. So you're going to trace the D. So start here and go up and around. Is that small D? Those are small Ds. And then there's some other D, there's some other letters mixed in to trick you. So you have to find the right ones. So trace the big D first. Are you not supposed to do the O's? Nope, you're not supposed to do the O's. Just the B, the D's. So wait, but wait, we're going to start by, we're supposed to follow directions. So we're supposed to color the large D first. So color the large D. And color it all in like this. So let's start here. How do you make a D? You're going to start here and go around, up, and down. So make sure you color it all in. I'm not good at doing it. That's okay, you're learning. That's the whole point of trying it. Looks good to me. Okay, now we're going to find all the D's. So connect the D's. Just the D's. Nope, is that a D? What letter is that? What letter is this right here? Uh, can we do the little D's too? You're supposed to do all the little D's, but what is that? That's not a D. What letter is that? A that's, big That's a U. U. Okay. Is, this so, a, is that a big D? Is that, what letter is that? That's an e. e. So are you going to connect that? E. No. So just do the Ds. I just did that one. Yeah. So do the rest of the Ds. Yep. All the rest of the Ds. Just the Ds. Mm -hmm. Is that the little D? That's a little B. Were you supposed to connect the B? No. Mm. Just the Ds. Okay, you see any more D's? And you can tell the difference between a B and a D because a B is a bat and a ball and the D is a doorknob and a door. So the line is behind the bump on a D and it's in front of it on a B. Can you say it? Say a bat and a ball. A bat and a ball. That's how we make a bee. A bat and a ball. A doorknob and a door. A doorknob and a door. That's how we make a bee. A doorknob and a door. Can I get again them? Yes, you can have them. Okay. On to the next one. Read the problem. Five. So. Mm -hmm. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Well, what's another way you can do it? What is 7 plus what equals 15? 7 plus what equals 14? 7 plus what equals 14? 7 plus 7 equals 14. So, so seven, 7 plus 8 equals 15. Right, and isn't that easier? Mm -hmm. Why well, are you made the answer? I know. We're trying to think about it in different ways. 18. Do you see an 18 down there? Okay. Now what's next? That's an eight, and you give it ten. Ten, nine, eight. Eight, seven. Now, do it without counting on your fingers. You can do that. Eight minus four is what? Eight minus four is. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes, you can do those without counting on your 48. fingers. Forty-eight. Okay, do you see it down below? Okay, so we're making a puzzle by counting 1 through 20 and putting them in order and it makes a picture. 
So we've got, count them. One, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we counted through ten. Now we need to do the rest. So what do we have left over? Let's put those over there so you can pick for them. Okay. Oops. There you go. So what comes after 10? What number is that? What number is one, that? one. One one is 11. What's next? So 10, 11, 12. 12. What comes next? 13. So what comes next? 13. 15. Now what number is that? That was right though, but what number is that? 16. This is 14. 14. What number's next? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. What number's next? No. Mm. Yeah, you were right. With this one, you were right. So sixteen. What comes next? Look at what you have left. Which ones do you have to choose from? So after sixteen is what? Seventeen. What comes next? 18. Okay. 19. What's the last one? 10. What? Is <laughs> 20. Okay, 20. so we've actually finished the entire week of spelling work. We're doing less than 18 of spelling workout. And um, we actually sped through it because it's review. So we're going to go ahead and take um, the spelling test. She thinks that uh, she can do it. So... We're going to go ahead and do the spelling test, and that's what it looks like. It's got a fun coloring sheet at the top, so when she finishes, um, she gets to take do the coloring sheet at the top. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, your first word is swim. S-I- Swim. What? Swim. Swim. The second word is they. They. And next is by. Like I'm going by the river. Next is key. Apple. Bonus word? Um, we'll skip bonus for right now. Okay. Number six is boys. Joy. Joy. And from. And class. Okay. Number 10. Number 10 is uh, tiny. I'm going to give you two bonus words. These are a little bit harder. Why? This is going to be easy. This one you always Wait. you always miss why. Oh no, but not this time. <laughs> you got it. Okay. And how about, let's do another hard one. How about turtle? It's a hard one. Turtle. You got it. I got the bonus word. I got the hard one. I got them. I got them. I got them. Yay. Okay. Now you so this color. is our Christmas around the world unit. And uh, basically you just read a section on each country. And then um, there's a question. 
sheet where they answer questions about um, how that country celebrates Christmas. And then there's a craft to go with each one. And today we did Spain. So for Spain, we did the king and the camel. Um, and the only one left that we have to do is Sweden, but we already did the craft for that, and it's the Tom 10. So um, we've done the poinsettia, the stocking, the gingerbread for Germany, broom, Christmas tree, and they all go into this little suitcase. Um, and I didn't have the same size bag that the person who made the unit had. I just made do with what I had. I had, I had an over oversized um, lunch bag. So that's what I used, um, and I think it came out okay. So, but, and all the crafts fit nicely in there um, to store. So you can see they all fit in there. Um, and then at the end of the unit, and we haven't done this yet, but I'll show you really quick. They have the countries traveled to and... Um, how to say Merry Christmas around the world, the different countries, um, the countries that you visited in North America, the countries that you visited in Europe, and so on. So it's got some fun extras um, to go along with it, and we'll be doing those next after we finish Sweden, and then we'll be wrapping this one up. So that is uh, a little look at our Christmas around the world um, unit that we're working on, and we're going to move on with our day. Okay, so for independent reading today, she's going to be reading um, our Rebecca Reader Hidden Treasure. And we're going to, we didn't get to it on Monday, so we're going to try and get both days done for that because we try and do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with the Rebecca Reader. So um, I'm going to try and get Monday and today's done for that. And then she's also reading uh, Geronimo Stilton's A Christmas Tale. That's the independent reading she's doing right now. So we're going to try and get through that in just a minute. Okay, so I am now getting dinner together and this is the chicken cacciatore that I put in the crock pot earlier. It's actually cooked for about six hours. I got busy, um, but uh, the chicken pulled apart really easily and it's actually quite good. So I'm going to serve this over rigatoni noodles. Um, my son calls them tube noodles and that's what he likes, so we're gonna use those. And then I'm gonna make some garlic bread to go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so this is dinner, it is, um, Chicken cacciatore over rigatoni noodles with sourdough garlic bread and peas. I had um, some peas that I needed to use up, so I'm doing kind of the pantry challenge. So that's what we're having with it, and it actually came out pretty good. Um, I never really made chicken cacciatore from scratch, so um, for my first time and kind of just using what I had, it came out pretty tasty. So we'll see how everyone likes it tonight, but that is dinner. Okay, so we have finished up dinner and all of our bedtime routine, and um, we are getting into reading our reading time. This is where we do all of our read-alouds and all that. Uh, we did our advent calendar and our book a day till Christmas. So we have our books that we're going to be reading, and for our read-alouds, we're going to be doing The House Without a Christmas Tree, and we're trying to get, finish up uh, The Magic Tree House Christmas in Camelot. So that is what we're going to sit down and read. And I will talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so reading time is done. The kids are in bed. All my nighttime chores are done. Clothes have been set out for the next day. And um, basically now I'm just wrapping up my homeschool day. So I've got all my paperwork that I have corrected as we went along. And I'm going to be filing it into my December work binder. And um, I have a, a video on my binder system it doesn't say December it's a different month but it's the same every month is um, just a different binder it just changes per month but what I do with it is exactly the same so I'll be filing all this away in my work binder and then um, just cross-referencing it to my spreadsheet to make sure I've marked everything off and I try and do it as I go along during the day um, but sometimes I miss something like her reading I need to mark off the reading that we've done today and I can see that we're a little bit behind on one of our units we need to finish. And so basically this is just a time for me to look at my spreadsheet and see what we need to do tomorrow, anything that we've missed um, that we need to get caught up on. Also, this is when I pull the work for tomorrow for her clipboard out of the binder. So I'll be pulling out what she needs to do tomorrow and getting that ready for the day. So this is basically the end of my homeschool day. And that is my first day in the life of a homeschool mom video. 
Um, it's a little bit different for me, but I thought it would be fun, and the kids really enjoyed um, making the video with me. Um, this is basically a day when we're home all day, and that's not our every day for sure. Um, we are out and about um, at least over half of our week. Um, usually at least two days a week we're home, um, but a lot of it we're actually out doing different activities, so our schedule's a little bit different every day. But with Christmas and being sick, um, we've been home a lot, so I thought it would be kind of fun to show what our day is like when we're actually home all day. So if you'd like to see more of this type of video, leave a comment below. And if there's something else you'd like me to do a video on, um, leave a comment on that as well, and I'll try and get to as many requests as I can. And for now, this mama is tired, and I'm going to be going to bed I hope you like this video, and if you do, click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.